So guys, what we're going to make is the cracked pepper and garlic summer sausage. It's a kit by High Mountain. Um, I think I picked this up at uh, Prince's Auto. Uh, where we got that? Sorry, oh, guys. Anyway, so uh, the picture sort of does it justice, but uh, we'll get the real thing in uh, tomorrow. We got all the moose cut up, guys. Two pounds of ground pork, four pounds of moose. I'll uh, put it out through the uh, meat grinder in a few minutes. Uh, once we do that, we'll um, mix it with all the spices, and stuff it in the casings, and then I actually get it to sit overnight in the refrigerator. And tomorrow we'll do the cooking. Put it in the oven and give it to an internal temperature of 180, if I remember correctly. It could be wrong. I'll have to check the instructions. But uh, yeah, we're making summer sausage. Gonna be delicious. Uh, got all our meat ground up there. We got six pounds of moose and pork uh, combined there. Two, four pounds of moose, two pounds of, of uh, ground pork. Um, the kit I had actually, <laughs> so it's embarrassing. The uh, spices, uh, I've used them all. So all I have left in there now is a cure. So I'm gonna uh, add my own uh, spices to this one. Uh, it's gonna be some regular steak spice, Montreal steak spice. A few pepper flakes and some garlic. Uh, I've done this before, so it should be. Uh, it's not quite cracked pepper, but it will. Uh, it will be good. I've done it before, so you can see here instructions for two casings, which is six pounds of meat. First, I need four point eight ounces of ice water, three quarter cup of seasoning plus one tablespoon of seasoning plus two teaspoons of seasoning. Now, I don't know why they do that, but that's the way the recipe is laid out. And of course, of course, one quarter cup of cure. Okay, so the cure looks like so. Cure comes in a package. Yeah, oops, drop that on the board. Make that up. And uh, we'll mix it all in the bowl. Mix it all together. And then we'll put it in the casings and then we'll lay them in the fridge for overnight. Um, and read the rest of the instructions. Uh, are in here and talks about how to how long I'll leave in the fridge and I'll get, get you guys those details in. Okay so the instructions for cooking I'm gonna cook it in the oven today. Uh, we're gonna put it on a couple racks and we cook it at 180 to 200. I usually put it at 200 to oven at 200 and look for an internal temperature of 156 degrees Fahrenheit. So we place the stuffing in the sausage refrigerator for at least 12 hours but no more than 24. So once I get these done today they'll be put in for 24 hours overnight, be perfect for the normal morning and we can start cooking them. Another thing you have to do guys is soak your casings. So these are the casings that come with the kit. And I just soak them in a bath of water, lukewarm water for, they say about an hour. I'll just leave them there till I'm ready to use them. Um, just two is all we need today.
I do this with one hand, apologies. So get the, let's just get them down in the water here. And let them sit. So there, two casings ready to go. Uh, almost ready to go. Guys, I got the first one uh, filled up, but I won't tie it off yet because uh, I want to make sure that uh, if I have any meat with the I can still put a little bit in the top of that one and so on. Use up what I have here. If I don't use, if I get too much for the, for the casings, then what I'll do is I'll fry it up in a frying pan and have it for lunch. So we're working on number casing number two here now, sausage number two. Uh, again, just create it up with little balls, put it down in the casing, and then Brought it down into the casing, get rid of all any air gaps and such, so that make sure your casing is full. And continue on until you run out of meat, basically. So, uh, mmm, smells garlicky. It smells really good. And, uh, I said it before, we, uh, we need smell vision For all these, seeing that everybody else I see cooking online on the YouTube videos, smell vision Definitely be a, an asset. So uh, I'll continue to fill this up, guys, uh, folks. And uh, when I get them all done, I'll just try to tie them up and uh, get them ready for the oven or for the refrigerator. So, folks, I got both sausages uh, casings filled up there now. So we got the about three pounds in each casing. Got some butcher's twine there now. I can tie them off like the uh, like this end and put them in the fridge for overnight. So uh, again, what I have here is the. Uh, cracked pepper and garlic summer sausage kit, but actually I ran out of seasoning, so I made up my own seasoning of uh, steak spice, garlic pepper, and some red pepper flakes. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll give, give you a lot of details on the, when we get to the taste test tomorrow. So I'll uh, get these tied up now and put in the refrigerator. So now we got them tied up, get ready for the refrigerator. Oops. Okay, folks, uh, it's about I don't know, 20 hours later or so, early in the morning here, I'm an early riser. Um, we got, we've left the uh, summer sausage in the fridge overnight, and uh, now we're gonna start the cooking process. So we got the oven set to uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna lay down a rack on a tray. I'm gonna put them in the oven, just like they are. I'm gonna leave them for a few hours throughout the morning, in the early morning, I think five or six hours. And we're looking for, I usually leave them, check, keep checking on them, and uh, we'll get an internal temperature of about 160. I think the recipe says 156, but I'll leave them for, uh, to get to what, 160. My digital thermometer there to check uh, later on, and uh, we'll, uh, once they're cooked. Well, by, by, we've been in the oven now since, uh, Four o'clock this morning. It's now 9:30, and we have one a temperature of about 151, 152, and the other the temperature of about. 147, 148. So we got a little bit to go. I'm gonna go to uh, at least 160, and uh, we'll give it a try when they're ready. Okay hey guys, looks like they're done. Internal temperature as I measured 164. Let them cool now and we'll cut them up. Put them in some parchment paper, have a sample, and then we'll pack them away in the freezer for uh, 
later on. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, we're gonna give it a taste test now. So what I do is I, always, I cut them in half. I'm gonna store them in the freezer. I'm not gonna eat all this one time, obviously. And then I'll cut them up in quarters and put them in parchment paper and then vacuum seal them and put them in the refrigerator. So let's do a little taste test here. See what we got. You see what it looks like? Like a pepperoni looking type of thing. They say you can eat the casing, but I never do. So, just give it a try. Oh, here come the dogs. They, they love it. Oh, mmm. Moorish. Very good. Ooh, and it's got a kick too. Want to try a piece? <laughs> My video, videographer is going to try a piece, see what she thinks. Mm. That is good. You like it? You can speak. Mm. All right, get these cut up, put it in the fridge, and uh, we'll go from there. Ready for the freezer.